Do you love cribbage? So do these students. Grace Bradley introduces us to the John Baps High School Cribbage Club, who just got a sizable donation. Most people's introduction to cribbage is similar. My grandparents saw me how to play cribbage when I was really little. I learned when I was a freshman in high school uh, from my grandfather. My mom taught me when I was probably 11 or 12. I was around five years old and my grandparents taught me how to play. With the newly created Cribbage Club, students at John Baps High School can play with peers. Oh, so we just really wanted to start this club to get people playing cribbage. That was really our motive. We wanted to have an area and like a space dedicated to playing cribbage weekly. The club caught the attention of the American Cribbage Congress after being alerted by a member's grandfather. And I knew my organization would be able to donate cards and pegs and cribbage boards. Because we've been using my boards and it was really exciting to have this donation to keep our club going for after I'm gone because I'm a senior. The club was gifted 10 boards along with pegs and cards courtesy of the organization. John Bapp's Cribbage Club is one sign of the game's cultural resurgence, but the students honor the generational connections cribbage creates. Had she not, that would have been a double skunk up here. One thing my dad always says about cribbage is that it's an easy game to learn and it's impossible to master. Whenever I play cribbage, I think of my family. Like I think of my grandfather, I think of my dad, and I think of the people who've played with me. It's just an easy way of showing the kids that there are adults and organizations that are willing. Reach out and let people know you have a need. Once I'm graduated, these boards will be here for years and years to come, which is awesome. Grace Bradley, WABI TV5 News, Bangor. <laughs>